Hello, my name is Jason Record, and I'm a SUSE Linux Escalation Engineer in the support team here at SUSE. Um, today we're going to be discussing um, the support config analysis report, and we're going to talk about how to create a report, um, how to look at the report, and um, go through that these various options. What a support config analysis report is, the tool is an intelligent analysis tool that extracts and parses through the contents of a support config, which is a tool used to gather system information for troubleshooting purposes. Um, the support config analysis tool has many, uh, many scripts that go through and parse and look for specific known issues. If a known issue is found, it's included in the report, kind of like, like this one that you see here on the screen. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at how to install the tool. So the support config analysis tool does ship with uh, SLUS 12 and 15. And if you do a search for the SCA server report package, you'll see that uh, this is this is the package that installs the uh, core engine of the SCA tool. And then in order to get um, to analyze particular support configs, you need patterns. So if you search for the SCA patterns, you'll notice that we do have a base um, that contains the various libraries used in developing each of the individual patterns. And then we have different pattern packages. Um, each of these sets of patterns enables the SCA tool to analyze content specified. For example, high availability extension. If we want to analyze that, then we would install those patterns. So on this, I'm currently on a SLES uh, 15 SP3 server, and if I install the SLE 11, SLE 12, and SLE 15 patterns, then that would give the SCA tool on this server the ability to analyze support configs from each of those distributions, and not just itself. So what we want to do is install all of them. Now, these ship with uh, the, the OS, and there are regular updates. Uh, for our purposes, we're going to install from the um, OpenSUSE build services factory directory where the patterns are initially placed when they have passed initial validation. And then from there, they're included into the update channels for SLEDs. But since they have the latest and it, there's, even though they're technically not supported, they are, it's a very low risk in running uh, those patterns because if a pattern fails, it's just the individual pattern that fails not the entire tool. So let's go ahead and um, I'll show you how to, if I wanted to install from the system without using the uh, OpenSUSE build service, I would simply run the SCA install command with the following. And if I were to install this, this would install all the patterns available plus the SCA tool and this would give this server the ability to analyze all those support configs. But we're going to add a repository to help us out here a little bit. And to give me just a second while we Type in Thank you. 
Okay. Let's go ahead. This installs it and enables it so that we can install packages from it. That command. Now the next command I'm going to do um, is actually installs the packages from that repository instead of the default shipping repository. All right, so now it's going to go out to the repository and install those tools. It doesn't take too long. Now, one thing currently, um, as of SLES 15 SP3, uh, the SCA tool uh, is based on Python 2. Um, it still has not been converted to Python 3, but should be soon. Great, now we can do, we can list all the patterns, and you can see um, currently on this server that the SCA tool has the ability to search and analyze 5,148 known issues um, in various distributions and where they're at. So we can um, kind of get, and this helps us in troubleshooting. So what we're going to do now is, um, analyze a support config. So I've, in this report, you'll, the, the initial report that I showed you at the beginning was this uh, SUSE 153 at an earlier date on September 3rd. Um, we need to, we got a new support config um, on September 8th. So we're going to analyze that support config. And it does, the tool does need to be run as root. And so we will sudo and then simply give it the name of the, the SCA, name the support config file. This will, the SCA tool will extract the support config file, uh, determine the distribution and which patterns to apply to it, and you'll see that the pattern definition filter will show which patterns are being applied. Of the 5,149 patterns, um, it has found 119 that applied to this particular support config. And of those 119, 14 of them uh, have had a positive hit and are included in the report. And here is a path to the report file. And so if we do a list the directory, we'll see that we have a, a new report file here with the same name as the support config. So if we come over and now I'm going to open, instead of this report, I'm going to open up the new report that we just created. So here's the new report. And you'll see that it gives us information about the server, hardware, virtualization, the version. And then we evaluate uh, various issues as critical, warning, recommended, or success. And the success, generally, you'll, you'll only have the basic health check patterns that are included in here. And so this includes our, you know, just basic checking of, of disk space and memory, um, how busy the server is, whether it's registered or not. And that, so this kind of gives us a general clue as to what basic health elements on the server might contribute or not contribute to the issue at hand. And on each of the uh, titles where it lists the category, if you click on the link, it'll expand that category. So in this case, um, the customer had reported that there was an issue with LVM. So what I would do first in a report is specifically look for issues relating to the problem reported by the customer, in this case, LVM. So now you'll notice that um, we did see that um, in LVM we are missing um, a disk with this UUID. So we can, the default 
um, technical information document that is the primary document um, regarding this issue is linked to the title. So if I click on the title, it'll automatically open up the TID related to this issue. So here we see we have, we have um, an, a logical volume showing that there is an unknown disk. That I can, like right here. And that, so this technical, inf technical information document kind of coincides with what we, the, the issue at hand. So we would definitely want to include this link to this document in a report or an email that we send to the customer. Or you could look, if you're analyzing your own servers, you can go through and apply those, the information in this document. Um, there, are, there also happens to be other links here. This first, this TID link will be one of the, this default link, and then you have a SUSE blog, which is another link that would give inf more information about this issue. Now, um, once we have, uh, let's say that you weren't, you were kind of concerned as to why this particular message appeared in the uh, support config analysis report. It, you can go and, and mouse over just just to the right of the title, and you'll see that there's an invisible link here. If you click on that link, it'll open up the source code for the pattern that looks for this particular issue. This happens to be a Perl pattern, and you can see, now you can see exactly how or why the support can, the SCA tool included this issue in um, the report. So it just kind of shows you the source code for each of the individual patterns. You'll notice that this one is, has, goes to its source code, which is maintained out on um, GitHub. So once I documented the uh, primary um, issues relating to LVM, because that's what the reported issue was, I would also look for proactive issues that I needed to bring up with the customer. In this case, we see that the kernel has, the system has dumped core. So the entire OS has either panicked or oops and rebooted and, and dumped a, a kernel core file. And it's done that at least twice, but we are missing the analysis of those two core files. So in communicating with a customer, uh, we would probably, we would want to mention these to make sure that they're aware of it and then give them the technical information on the document on how to run and analyze VM core if they wish to have those core dumps analyzed. If you're analyzing your own servers, this just gives you all the information about known issues and you can then look through each one of these and address the issues as you have time and downtime available. In this case, it would require, uh, wouldn't necessarily require downtime. So that's the um, so that is the um, SCA report. Now, you cannot run the SCA report on a live server. The SCA tool, can, meaning you can't run an, an SCA um, the tool against a server. It is only used to parse through and analyze support configs. So if you wanted to analyze your current server, you need to generate a support config first, and then you would need to run the SCA tool against the support config. So this allows, the benefit is that we can gather the information off a production server, move the information, which is in the support config, to a non-production server where it can be analyzed offline um, or remotely or in other ways. So that's the intent. So that is the support config analysis report.